Hey, how's it going? Oh, good, how are you? What do we got here? That's a piece of Apollo 13 heat shield. Dallas, we have a problem. It's Houston. Texas, isn't it? I decided to come to the pawn shop today to sell my piece of Apollo 13 heat shield. I think it's priceless, actually, but I'm thinking somewhere around $50,000, $60,000. Where in the world did you get that? My father was a model maker for NASA, and when they would get the capsules back, they would encapsulate them like this, and they give them to whoever could get the budget for NASA. I think it's pretty cool because it's been in space. The fact that a piece of Apollo 13 might be sitting in my store right now blows my mind. Apollo 13 wasn't a huge deal. We'd already landed on the moon twice, but then something went catastrophically wrong. There was an explosion inside the oxygen tank, and they had to MacGyver everything back together and get back to Earth. Apollo 13 is an incredible story. James Lovell and the rest of the astronauts should have never made it back alive. They were literally using a sextant to navigate by the stars to get back to the Earth. What do you need heat tiles on a rocket for? It's going so fast that the air rubbing against the side of the capsule creates so much heat from friction, the aluminum will melt if it's just bare aluminum. There's no paperwork or anything with it? No. Nope. They just give it to you like this? Is it written on it anywhere? No. Nope. Yeah, I just don't know if this is something your dad made in his garage, put in some lucite, and said, hey, look, son, a piece of a rocket. <laughs> Tell what kind of father he was. <laughs> You don't mind, a friend of mine is a curator of an aerospace museum, so okay. he knows everything there is to know about this stuff. Let me have him take a look at it, and then we'll try and figure out a price, okay? okay. All right, sounds, sounds great. great. Thank you. So what do we have? That's a piece of Apollo 13 heat shield. I'm the administrator of the Clark County Museum, the Howard W. Cannon Aviation Museum, and the Searchlight Community Museum down in Searchlight, Nevada. With Apollo 13, one of the things that happened is, you know, the oxygen tank blew up. That was the one that, you know, didn't make it to the moon and just barely made it back. But on that one, they kept the service module attached to the command module because they were worried about the heat shield. One of the things that they were worried might have happened when the oxygen tank blew up is that it might have damaged the heat shield. If it had, everybody was dead. It did make it to the moon, though, or they did? Well, it went around the right. moon. It never, it never came down. They had to. In order for them to get back to Earth, they had to keep going, go around the moon, and slingshot back to the Earth. Apollo 13 had to do all kinds of technological work during the flight just to be able to survive. It's probably one of the most interesting missions, certainly the most dangerous. The thing about this on an Apollo, like on a Gemini, you know, this was not individual tiles. On this, the whole heat shield worked as a unit for dissipating the temperature that was being built up as the capsule came back in. You know, they didn't know on Apollo 13 until they came back in whether or not the heat shield was intact. Just imagine yourself stranded in space and somehow getting yourself back to Earth, and then having no idea whether the heat shield was gonna hold up or not. Unbelievable what these guys went through. So it's definitely a heat shield off an Apollo mission? It seems right to me that it is part of the heat shield, but unfortunately, because they took these out of all of the missions, right. I don't know of any way of saying that this was Apollo 13 if it wasn't marked or you don't have something from your father. If there was some way to prove it was from Apollo 13, there'd be a lot of collectors out there for yes. it? Yes, it would be huge. OK. All right, you're the best. Thank you. All right, this is my favorite part. So how much did you want for it? Well, I wouldn't be willing to take anything less than 50,000. <sighs> oh, no, 50,000 is not going to happen. There's collectors out there, but there's only they're only willing to spend so much money. So, you know, I'm figuring I'd give you like $2,000 for it. I'd be willing to come down on it to 30, 35,000, but other any lower than that, I just prefer to keep it in my family. Yeah, I couldn't come near that price. To tell you the truth, we're just so far apart, it's just not going to happen. Yeah. I appreciate you bringing it in though. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> They made an offer, and it wasn't a good enough offer for me, so it was very easy to walk away from $2,000.